Excuse me. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I mean, the match itself was. Yeah, it was. It was tough. Um, you know, physically, it was. It was hard for me, and um, yeah, I mean, we did pretty well. Obviously, had a few chances in the match, and um, obviously went up a break in the second, and I think set point in the in the first set, maybe in the tie break. Um, but yeah, uh, it was hard physically um, for me anyway. Um, and yeah, well, I was, you know, I was fortunate. I was even able to get on the court to to play. Just wish, um, yeah, it could have been a little bit, a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, look, yeah, it was, look, it, it was really nice. Um, you know, my when the the video was playing, I mean, my head's spinning a, a lot because. And I know I'm, you know, about to have to speak, and it's it's difficult in those moments because you, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of people you want to thank and address, but it's also it is not easy. Uh, it's you know it's pretty uh, you know it's pretty emotional um, as well. And yeah, watching the video was was nice, but hard as well for me. Um, yeah, because well, yeah, you, you know that you know it's coming to the end of something that you've you know you've absolutely loved doing um yeah for such a long time so that's difficult but yeah it's obviously really nice that a lot of the the players stayed i mean obviously obviously have very close and good relationships with the you know with the british guys that were there but there's also you know a number of players there on that court that i have well enormous respect for some of the, the greatest players in the history of the game and stuff so you know, it was was really nice that they um yeah they stuck stuck behind because it was you know we did finish quite late and I know some of them have had matches today and you know want to want to get themselves off to bed and recovering so it was it was really nice that they they stayed around yeah. Andy, what did it mean to you to have uh, two of your girls there watching? I I didn't know they were coming and then when we were. When we were waiting in the locker room beforehand, the, the, I saw on one of the TVs that uh, that they were there sitting next to my wife, and yeah, it was you know it was nice. They, they've only they've only been to one other match that I played, um, you know, and sat in the stands before in, in Nottingham last year, and I didn't you know I didn't even know I didn't know they were there. So yeah, it was nice they managed to they managed to make it. Although I think they were my second. Sorry, I, I should call them by their names, but I always sort of just go in order rather than um, <laughs> rather than do it that way. But yeah, second kid was yeah struggling. I think <laughs> um, it was way, way past their bedtime. Um, but yeah, it was lovely that they they were able to come and watch. Yes, Andy, you've obviously got at least one more match here, but you've had your tributes today. Is that something you wanted and asked for? And if so, why did that feel more fitting? Um. No, it wasn't something that I'd I'd asked for when um, when I was ma making the decision around the singles. Um, I, you know, the the club spoke to me and said that they would like to you know to do something after one of my matches here, and you know, I think if I you know if I played singles, then would do it, you know, after I potentially lost in the the singles. And then it was like, you know, if the singles doesn't happen, we'd like to have the first doubles match. So regardless of the, the result, um, yeah, it wasn't something that I said, please, please, can you do this um, for, for me? Um, but yeah, I'm yeah, thankful to them that they, they did it because, yeah, I guess, I, I don't know, like you... Yeah, it's just I don't know. It feels like a feels like an ending to me. Um, yeah, and whether I deserve it or not, I, you know, I don't know. But they did a really, really good job. John, I just wondered we've heard a lot of people talking about like, what your legacy will be. I just wondered like how you would like to be remembered, and, and if there's one thing that you're kind of most proud of. Um. I find them quite difficult questions for me to answer because I don't like I, I don't think it's for me to sort of say like how 
I don't know, like how I'd want other people to 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 view me. There's things in my career that I'm, you know, I'm really proud of. Like I'm not, I certainly didn't get everything right during my career, and I'm not was far from far from perfect. But I think the thing that yeah, that I I did a really good job of during my career was that regardless of the highs and lows, whether it was winning tournaments or having difficult losses or you know an operation or you know a setback, that I was able to treat like the next day. Like I always came in to work and with the same dedication and work ethic and passion, like as I had the the day before, regardless of the the highs and lows that the sport kind of has thrown at me and 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 I certainly didn't always get it right like on the match days I was not perfect by any stretch but I did always come into work and put in you know you know a good day um you know and I I gave gave my my best effort um and yeah that's that's what I'm proud of so I guess I, I don't know it's for other people to decide what my what my legacy would be but that's the thing that I'm most proud of. Catherine? Hi, Andy. Um, I know it's very early in terms of processing this evening, but in terms of um, the search for closure that you mentioned a couple of days ago, do you think tonight the match, the ceremony, will help with seeking closure and trying to let go? Yeah, look, I'm ready to finish playing. I mean, in, I, don't, I don't want that to be the case. I would love to play like I said, forever. Um, but like today, even though, you know, it's a doubles, you know, a doubles match where, you know, physically it's obviously not as demanding, it's still really hard for me. Like, you know, my serve speeds and everything are like <laughs> so far behind where they, they usually would be. Um, and I'm sure that would come back with, with time once I recover from the injury and everything. But <sighs> Yeah, this year's been, you know, been tough with the ankle and then obviously the, you know, the back surgery and obviously the hip. Um, <laughs> that Yeah, like um, I, I'm ready to finish playing because I, I can't play to the level that, you know, that I would want to um, anymore. But that doesn't mean that, like... <laughs> That's something that, yeah, I guess is a bit sort of out of my control. If I could, you know, if I knew that my my body was going to be able to do it, I would play for, you know, play for as, as I don't. There's nothing about the sport that I that I hate, and I'm like I don't want to do it anymore for, you know, for this reason. Like I like the traveling, I love the competition, the practicing, and trying to get better and all those things. But, um, yeah, I know that it's it's time now and. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for that. Good morning. Um, there, there are a lot of players who um, lose their appetite for the sport um, and end up, you know, quitting and quitting early. I'm curious if you take say, any, say again. What did you say? Um, there are a lot of players who eventually, after competing for a certain period, lose their appetite for the sport and don't want to play anymore. I'm curious if you take any solace from the fact that, you know, even though you don't want to necessarily quit. Like your like love for the sport and that like, you know your everything your discipline and everything has been like the same as it has been for so long. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, obviously every everybody's different and everyone has different you know career paths and some players start you know particularly on the women's side start at a really young age on the on the tour and then yeah not I've also been really lucky in the sport as well like in terms of the results and everything that I've had and that's not the case for everyone like a lot of tennis players live a, you know quite a different you know life if you're playing you know the lower levels of tennis and stuff it's you know it's really difficult you know it's you know financially is is hard and can be really really lonely at times um you know and I've been fortunate to have you know team around me I've had family you know on the road you know my brother's always been with me and you know, parents and have travelled a bit and stuff. So, yeah, everyone has different journeys, and uh, I mean, yeah, I've I've always I've always loved the sport, and I've never I've ne I've never fallen out of love with any parts of it. Really, 
Um, I've, I've gone through difficult periods for sure, but like I said, I was al I would always wake up the next day and it's not like, like I'm not touching a racket again. Like I don't want to pick up my rackets for a week. Like I was always desperate to get back on the court. So um, yeah, never, never lost that. Ma Andy, um, Novak keeps coming in here and he keeps saying like, I think he could probably play singles again next year. I hope he does. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard that. Um, when you do hear that, I mean, first of all, what do you think he's doing? You think he's like challenging you to to to, to try and give it a shot? Or um, and when you do hear that, do you do you get tempted and think like, well, well, if I'm rested after four months, maybe my body's gonna feel better. I mean, <laughs> uh, I mean, mind I, go to places like that. I mean, look, I was, you know. Before, like, what happened in Miami, like, I, you know, I was starting to play good tennis and then, you know, at Queens, um, you know, so you got through the, you know, the first round, they're like, I can still win matches at, at this level and there's no question that if, you know, even with the the physical issues around the, the hip that I'm, you know, was still able to compete at the, the highest level, not as consistently as I would have liked and certainly not having the results that I, I would have wanted. But, um, yeah, I mean, I could definitely still win matches, you know, here over on, you know, on the grass, you know, once I'm recovered from, from the back injury, but, um, I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, no. So, yeah. <laughs> I know I could. I know I could do it, but um, I, uh, I have no plans to to play singles again. <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I really don't remember that much about the Australian Open one. Just that, yeah, just it was obviously a bit premature. Unfortunately, um, you know, obviously ended up playing for like five five and a half years uh, after that was done, but. I mean, at the time that, you know, at the time I also, you know, I did appreciate it. I was going through a pretty rough time for like the, I don't know, like a year, um, 18 months up till that point. And, um, you know, I'd said to my team, like, after that match that I played, like, if that was the last match that I played, like, you know, I would have been, you know, would have been okay with that. Would have been a, you know, a great way to, to finish. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously tonight, because I, I knew definitively that that was going to be the last time that I'm playing here, it was, yeah, I don't know, like it, the build up to the match and everything, like the last week and everything's been really emotional for me. Like every time I was sort of on my own, I, you know, find myself getting a bit, you know, emotional and thinking about it and everything. And um, so, yeah, I, I mean, they did a really nice job this evening and you know i'm glad that it's it's done now and um you know obviously try and enjoy the you know the mixed doubles um in a couple of days time it should be fun and then yeah got a family holiday planned after this and then got the olympics and then that's it okay i think we'll wrap up there thank you very much everybody thank you, thank you. um harriet dart will follow